Music for me has been uh, a way to encounter the world. I was born in um, northeastern Wisconsin in a small town uh, called Leona. Actually, near Leona, is out in the Thule's. So um, if I'd have to characterize you know, something from where I grew up, I would say it's uh, a lot of country music and uh, you know some rock and roll and things like that. So for a jazz musician to come out of northeastern Wisconsin was kind of a <laughs> an interesting thing. My mother said that one day I was I'd maybe like three or four years old and I was just going over to the piano and I could barely, you know, kind of like see up on the keyboard and I started tink tinkling around and and uh, pretty soon she turned and I found the notes for like Mary Had a Little Lamb or something. Went dee, dee, dee. I come from a family of teachers and aunts and uncles who are teachers and I can remember walking across the stage when I graduated from high school and I said no way am I ever going to be a teacher. Oh man, <laughs> I think Irish inspires me every day, like every, every day I'm involved in music. My, Mike Strava at Michigan Tech right now, he's the director of both the Jazz Lab Band and the Jazz R&D Band. Uh, he also teaches a couple classes here at Tech, such as Jazz Improv and uh, History of Jazz, which I'm actually currently in right now. Mike's job at Michigan Tech is to make everybody have a good time. I think that his job is just like to really educate musicians and make them love love music, love their instrument, love soloing. Music for me has been a, a, a way to encounter the world. I was very shy growing up. I, I still feel shy, but when I got in my first rock and roll band, that was kind of neat, you know, for the kid who was the nerd, all of a sudden was in a rock and roll band where the other kids in the high school thought, wow, that's pretty cool. He supplies the um, most learned, grooving, funky uh, guitar playing to the community. You know, that's what he does. He's in many different groups of all kinds of different styles. He's also, unlike some musicians, willing to trade roles. Some musicians that you play with are only really comfortable if they are the focus of attention. But Mike, can take the solo focus, absolutely, but he's also completely willing to play an accompanying role if that's what the music calls for. And that's all too rare in the, in the music world. 
Mike is the nicest, most um, non-judgmental musician. <laughs> Mike's in a class of his own. It's like he just He's like a rena renaissance man with music. Well, I first came to Michigan Tech. I was going to come here for geology. But then uh, we did a battery of tests and things like that. And I found out I wasn't going to be able to, to cut the math. So, uh, you know, to me, Calc 1 was the, the pinnacle of, of my achievement. Uh, to be able to do that. So uh, forestry was a, was a close second choice. Defining characteristics of Mike is a laugh, for sure. He, he's got a really distinctive laugh. Like when he's talking about something that gets him really riled up, he, he laughs about it or he'll do like this, Hey man, he does this cool like raspy voice. Hey, you gonna do some stuff, man. Gonna take you downtown, man. Gonna go to the gig. Did I tell you about that time we played on the boat, the Key West Star? Did you ever no. play gigs on? Oh yeah. And the twin diesels are in the key of A. Yeah. <laughs> so we played almost every song in the key of A. <laughs> it was sympathetic harmony. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I have come to work, this is hard to believe, but really crabby. <laughs> and Mike is just like, he, he, everything rolls off of him. Oh, he's sort of a Buddha. <laughs> so he's a, he's a light in a dark place. Um, there's something... Uh, special, it's, it's really hard to put into words. I love Lake Superior, and I think it's the combination of the, the sort of the wildness of the area, Lake Superior, and for some reason, per capita, there are more artists uh, here in the Keweenaw, musicians, painters, poets, you know, whatever, than any other place I've ever been. Even in, uh, there's just it, there's such a high concentration here, and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's other people are attracted to come back to the area too, but there's uh, something a little bit magical about it. Uh, Probably the main thing that got me to come back is the tradition of the program that, that Don had started, and it's the students. Um, the students here at Michigan Tech are really the cream of the crop, and that's not to you know, diss any state schools or anything, but uh, the, just the intellectual horsepower that students have here is really special. He has a way of sort of... Um how do you want to say it? Opening a door in your head where um, it, you can take it where you want from from there. He doesn't really um, make you be a certain way. He just gives you access to to some knowledge, and that that to me is probably the most great thing about Mike that, that I personally have ever experienced. All the all the things I've learned through him um, just kind of kicking my ass to the door, basically. He said, do you, do you don't read music? I said, no. He said, all right, don't worry about it. So he went over, he came over, and he, he played it for me. And that's how I learned, you know, I just watched him play it a couple times, and then I was able to play it. So that's, you know, he, however you can learn, that's how he's gonna teach yeah. you, you know? So what, you can't read music. <laughs> yeah. I think he's just, he's a very encouraging um, person. Um, I think he's he's such a fabulous musician, which are two really it's a great combination. You know, he he. When I was in grad school, I had a, a professor who who taught a class in pedagogy. This is just a backstory, but and he always said you should love what you teach and love who you teach. And I think that's Mike. I mean, I think he's just that kind of just amazing teacher, you know. And I think that's all I've ever you know wanted was an opportunity to to try some things. And so in my teaching now. That's what I try to provide students with an opportunity so that they can, you know, see what they can do and, and what they can achieve. Man, who, who is he? Who is Mike Irish to me? He's my mentor. He's my favorite teacher. Uh, I, 
I look forward to jazz band every day. There's never like a day that I go to jazz band where I'm dreading it or because I know Mike's going to be there and he's going to say some awesome stuff to us or motivate us or teach us something cool. I mean, so many people help me and it's, it's my duty and honor to be able to try to extend that to people younger than myself. And I, I just, I love the students. They keep me young. <laughs>